Hey guys, Augs here from the US. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, share, watch some ad, and also follow me on social media to keep the conversation going. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to give my top five Lyon players that I would like to see at Chelsea Football Club. It's just my opinion. Remember, Lyon are out of the Champions League or Europa League for next season. And we all know that Lyon are a selling club. What they do is they buy prospect, they develop them and they sell for profit. They also have a great academy. So every single year, they have great, great players to sell. And this time is not going to be different because they need money even more because of them missing out of the Champions League. They need money. We have money. We need players. And we need to go there and grab few of their players. Simple as that. Let me remind you a few names that came out of Lyon. Tolisso, Benzema, Fekir, Untinti, Lacazette, Ndombele, Maluda, Essien, Mendy, and the list goes on. You can add more names if you want. I don't know how they do it, but they are the best out there, man. Don't ask me why you choose this as your number one, why you didn't choose this and that. Like I said, we all have choices in life, why you choose blue instead of red why you did this instead of that it doesn't matter because it's your personal choice and most of the time in football choices are about your own biased opinion it doesn't have to do always with football you can like somebody in a personal level but the end of the day if the player comes and start playing for your team you like him or not you have to support him you know what I'm trying to say? So, it doesn't mean if I choose this and that, that I don't like the other one. Clear? Number five on my list will be the young Ryan Shirky. 16 years old kid, almost 17 now. But I'm telling you, man, this kid is going to be somebody in the future. People have been comparing him with uh, Karim Benzema and he's the next thing. In the business and all that but i don't like really to compare uh players he's his own personality and he's a very grounded young man okay i watch even um, his documentary on canal france and man he's well educated young man very respectful and very good on the field i watched few games this season uh, in the cup league Oh my gosh, the kid got it all. I mean, you have just to pray for his health because anything can change if a player got injury or something. But this kid, remember the name, Ryan Shirky. It's time for Chelsea to go there and start some negotiation with Lyon because we have a great academy. We are buying pretty much every wonder kid right now and it's a good time to be a Chelsea football club. I don't know if he's going to come at Chelsea though because, you know, he would like to play more games in the first team. And knowing that Lyon are going to sell many players in this coming window, he might have a chance to be in the first team in a permanent um, basics. So, I don't know, man, but why not knock the door and try? So, if you haven't watched this kid... I recommend you to do that because you won't be disappointed. 
Number four on my list is Bruno Guimarães. Oh my gosh. The Brazilian is a very, very good midfielder who can play also in different positions. We've been scouting this guy for almost two years, but we know how we do things, right? We are scouting FC, uh, we are monitoring FC, we spend all the money sending the scout in Brazil and paying five-star hotel and first-class airplane and all that. And the end of that, we don't do anything. Okay, we were very close according to the report of signing this kid. But he chose to go for Lyon because maybe he will have more uh, playing time and develop. He didn't want all the pressure that he will have at Chelsea or Real Madrid. You know what I mean? So I think he made a good choice. And this season, he played only a handful games because he came in January but all the games that he played for Lyon were like the man of the match kind of games he 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 did he did very good and i won't be surprised if some clubs start sniffing around but if we have a chance to sign this guy please go for it number 3 i will go for Memphis Depay. Yeah, I know people are going to kill me for mentioning this name. But like I said, we all have choices in life. Depay has a very flashy kind of personality. He likes to sing. He likes to come to the training ground with a Lamborghini and all the Gucci bags and all that. And all the golden teeth so people just think that he's not a good footballer but that is not true because the pie can do something on the field and yeah people would tell you oh he flopped at man united in the blah 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 but you have to understand the uh the context behind everything so if we have a chance to sign the pie he can play as a lone striker he can play as a second striker he can play as a winger he was killing it at leon uh, this season before he got injured is a very bad injury ACL injury and I don't know how he's gonna come back from the injury but most of the players don't come back the way they used to be before the injury look at Zuma what happened to Zuma can you imagine if Zuma didn't have that nasty ACL injury man I don't think um, van dyke was going to be praised the way he is now if zuma stayed healthy and that is just my biased opinion anyways guys if i had a chance to sign this guy i would go for it five million followers <laughs> number two on my list is Musa Dembele. Yeah, people also will kill me for this. Why you didn't put Musa number one? He's the best, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that is my choice. I don't have to like all the players that you like. Musa Dembele is not my number one choice. If I have to choose between Luka Jovic, um, Timo Werner, Lotaro Martinez, I will choose all of them in front of Musa Dembele. I don't feel it. I don't I don't I don't know about you guys, but I think Musa Dembele is a good player, but it's just not my type of player. And like I said, it's just my biased opinion. He might prove me wrong, okay? And doesn't mean that I won't support him, but he's not my number one. That's what I'm trying to say here. I will even take um Odson Edwa in front of uh, Musa Dembele. That is how my biased opinion can play in certain things. So, Musa Dembele is on my number two. Uh, he needs to convince me. Number one on my list will be Usamawa. 
Awa is a great, great player. Okay, I won't hesitate. If we had a chance to sign this guy, go for it. Pep Guardiola said all the good stuff about Awa. All the great coaches in the world been speaking highly about him. If you had a chance to watch this guy play, man, you will be amazed and you will be very happy. So, nothing really that I can say, really. You can just go online and try to figure out a little bit about each of those players that I just uh, put on my list. And we can continue the discussion. There we go, guys. Let me know. Maybe you think Leon got some other gems that I didn't mention here. Give your list and let's have fun. Think outside the box and see you in the next one. Hi, it's Olivier Giroud. Restez à la maison, sauvez des vies. Et surtout, soyons solidaires. Keep the blue flag flying high. Stay home. Hello from Beijing to Borders Club in China. Hello from the New York Blues of the USA. Stay home, save lives. We're in this together.